Endodrome is a VR environment. Endodrome is, is, a, is a trip inside a voyage to the inner parts of ourselves. It can be experienced in different ways. You can literally watch it from outside, like almost like a, like a, a theater performance, and you can watch it from inside. I really wanted to stage the experience. I like this idea that you're watching someone, watching something. May You Live in Interesting Times is looking in a way at how artists respond to the times we live in. It's really designed to highlight the fact that art, unlike many of our forms of communication, treasures ambiguity, complexity, contradiction, and often involves juggling multiple perspectives. Dominique is an artist who has long been exploring different types of space in her work. I think her first move was really, yeah, to, to try to have something very uh, organic, uh, very intuitive, uh, and also very, very, very different. She wanted to, to do like uh, a trip and uh, very abstract. Uh, not narrative, of course not a game. And, uh, she, she really wants to, to bring her universe in, in this new medium. I was lucky since uh, almost two years to experience and to be taught a type of, of trance by Corinne Sombrin, who's also, who also did the soundscape. There's almost as much potential in VR uh, sound-wise than in a visual way, because the, with, with using the binaural sounds and all the different effects, you, it's so, this, is, this for me was also a real discovery in terms of space. Dominique's work is uh, much more abstract than most VR works that I've experienced. I think it plays with rhythm in a very interesting way, both visual rhythm and also using sound There is another angle that is that is very important for this for the for endodrome is the relation between um, technology and artistic experiment and also abstraction. Dominique wanted to be really separate from any narrative. I'm not sure I have seen another one like this. I wish I could live to see the Biennale 50 years from now and see what kind of technologies will be used by artists then. We're just seeing the beginning of how artists can use these technologies and I think it's going to be more and more important.